Hello students, this is 7th video on trigonometry. Today, I am going to explain about trigonometric identities which is very very important part in trigonometry chapter. See, what is the meaning of identity? So, identity, it is a mathematical equation in which it is true for all values of variables in the equation. So, uh, already we know a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay. Now a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. You know all these things. a plus b plus c whole square equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Okay. All these are identities. It means for any value of a and b, we will get LHS equal to RHS. That is said to be identity. Suppose if we use trigonometric ratios of angles in this, they are said to be trigonometric identities. Okay. So, a mathematical equation which is true for all values of variables in the equation is said to be identity. If we use trigonometric ratios in the equation, they are said to be trigonometric identities. Now, we will use Pythagoras law to explain all these trigonometric identities. See, this is the right angle triangle, angle B 90 degrees, okay. With respect to angle A, we will write, okay. See, here, AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. That is Pythagoras law, okay. What is uh, Pythagoras law here? AB square plus BC square equal to AC square, hypotenuse is AC here, okay. Now, divide this entire equation by AC square on both sides. Divide by AC square, okay? Each term in equation, okay? In this equation. See, AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square equal to AC square by AC square, okay? So, Pythagoras law, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square, okay? What are you doing? AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square equal to AC square by AC square. We are dividing the entire equation by AC square. This can be written as AB by AC whole square. Okay. Plus this one also BC by AC whole square. Now AC square by AC square it is nothing but 1. Okay. See what is AB by AC with respect to angle here? AB adjacent AC hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse is cos. Okay. So this is cos A whole square. Plus this one is BC by AC. What is BC for A? It is opposite and hypotenuse. So it is sin A. Opposite by hypotenuse is sin A whole square equal to 1. So cos A whole square means cos square A plus sin A whole square means sin square A. So what we are getting here? Sin square A plus cos square A equal to 1. You have to remember this one. Okay. This one identity. With this identity, we are going two more equal equations. Say, what is sin square a in this equation? Sin square a equal to 1, you send cos square a to RHS. 1 minus cos square a. Okay? Both will be same. Sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Then what is sin square a? 1 minus cos square a. Now what is cos square a here? This is 1 minus send sin square a to RHS. 1 minus sin square a. Okay? So, remember these three. These are very very important. We will solve some problems also with using these identities. Okay? Say, now we proved sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Okay? Like this, two more important identities. 1 plus tan square a equal to secant square a. 1 plus tan square equal to secant square. Like that. 1 plus cos square a equal to cosecant square a. Okay. We will try to prove this two also. Now this is the Pythagoras law. AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. Now divide by AB square on both sides. So I am dividing by AB square. AB square by AB square plus BC square by AB square equal to AC square by AB square. So, entire equation we are dividing by AB square. Okay. This can be AB square by AB square. Nothing but 1. Plus, this one is BC by AB whole square. 
We can write BC by AB whole square. This one AC by AB whole square. Okay. See, 1 plus. What is BC by AB? BC it is opposite of here and AB it is adjacent. Opposite by adjacent it is tan. Okay. So tan square A. This is first time you write tan A whole square. That equal to AC by AB. AC by AB hypotenuse by adjacent. It is what? Adjacent by hypotenuse cos. So hypotenuse by adjacent it is reciprocal of cos. So it is secant A whole square. Now we are getting 1 plus tan square A equal to secant square A. So this one also proved. With this we can get two more. 1 plus tan square A equal to secant square A. It means secant square A minus tan square A. You said only tan square A that side. Secant square A minus tan square A equal to 1. Secant square A minus tan square A equal to 1. Okay. Now one more. Only you said one that side. Secant square A minus 1. Secant square A minus 1 equal to tan square A. Okay. Like this. Two extra we are getting with this. So secant square a minus tan square a equal to 1. Or if you send tan square that side, 1 plus tan square equal to secant square a. Or secant square a minus 1 is tan square a. So now we will try to prove this. Now to prove 1 plus cos square equal to cosecant square a, we have to divide this equation by bc square on both sides. Okay. Divide LHS and RHS by bc square okay so ab square by bc square plus bc square by bc square equal to ac square by bc square this can be written as ab plus bc whole square plus see bc square by bc square it is one equal to this one will be ac by bc whole square see what is ab by bc here ab by bc adjacent by opposite Opposite by adjacent tan, adjacent by opposite cot. Okay, so this is cot a whole square plus 1 equal to AC by BC. AC by BC, hypotenuse by opposite. Opposite by hypotenuse side. Hypotenuse by opposite, it's reciprocal cosecant. So this is cosecant a whole square. So what you are getting? Cot square a plus 1 equal to cosecant square a okay so 1 plus cot square a is nothing but cosecant square a this also can be written as in two types see if you send one right side cosecant square a minus 1 cosecant square a minus 1 equal to simply cot square a cosecant square a minus 1 equal to cot square a now if you send cot square a to right side cosecant square a minus cot square a equal to simply 1 cosecant square a minus cot square equal to 1 like this with one identity we are getting two more so total these nine identities you have to remember whether these are true or not for all values of a we will check just now see students we are telling these are trigonometric identities sin square a plus cos square equal to 1 secant square a minus tan square equal to 1 cosecant square a minus cot square equal to 1 we will check for a value we will take from 0 to 90 degrees whether for all degrees this identities are true or not if they are true then only we will say they are identities now first i am taking a equal to 0 degrees so what is sin square 0 plus cos square 0 see sin 0 whole square sin square 0 means sin 0 whole square sin 0 is what 0 only, okay, 0 square. What is cos 0? 1, 1 square. How much you are getting? 0 square is 0, 1 square is nothing but 1, so 1 we are getting. Yes, so what we are getting? Sin square 0 plus cos square 0, we are getting 1, okay. Now suppose if A equal to 45 degrees, okay, what is sin square 45 plus cos square 45? We will check this one. Sin 45, it is 1 by root 2, okay, whole square. Once again, cos 45 also, 1 by root 2, whole square. 1 by root 2, whole square means 1 by 2. Plus, once again, 1 by root 2, whole square, it is 1 by 2. What is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2? It is also 1, again, okay. Now, we will take A, 90 degrees. 
सो व्हाट इज साइन स्क्वायर नाइंटी प्लस का स्क्वायर नाइंटी सी साइन स्क्वायर नाइंटी साइन नाइंटी इज वन वन स्क्वायर प्लस कास नाइंटी इज जीरो जीरो स्क्वायर वन स्क्वायर इज वन प्लस जीरो स्क्वायर इज जीरो अगेन वी आर गेटिंग वन For any values we are getting one. See now I will take a equal to thirty degrees. See sine square thirty plus cos square thirty. How much we are getting here? Sine thirty it is one by two whole square. Cos thirty it is sine sixty. Okay, root three by two whole square. One by two whole square is one by four. One one by two two. One into one is one. Two into two is four. Plus root three square means three only. Two square is two square four. So one by four plus three by four, like fractions, is four by four, nothing but one. So sine square a plus cos square a for any value of a from zero to ninety degrees, always we are getting one. It means this is trigonometric identity. Like this, we can prove for secant square a minus tan square a equal to one, and also for cosecant square a minus cos square a equal to one also. Okay. Now we will do some more problems in the eighth video. Okay. Right. If you like my videos, please share, comment, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.